Well, Greenwood, as we mentioned, going three rounds deep in last year's postseason, farther than any other 11-man team from the Basin last year. And while that is certainly an achievement to be proud of, the Rangers have bigger aspirations in mind this season. Hey, I'm saying you're champs! Stay champs! Greenwood's players setting themselves a clear goal after last year's disappointment. New head coach Rusty Purser not dampening that vision either. His message, own it. I like to see how, how hard we're working. We're, we've been working hard. Like Out of all my years of, of being here at Greenwood, I've never seen, a, seen us work this hard as a, as a group. One of the key departures for Greenwood is quarterback Jake Summers. Weston Wilbur will be taking over under center. He started several games for the Rangers early last year when Summers was injured. This year, there's, he's never missed a beat. Since the day I got here in April, putting him to work, going through summer with seven on seven, and then in, in the fall camp here, he's been great. And he'll have just about as much help as you could ask for. Eight starters back on offense, including wide receiver Brody Ray, who hauled in 20 touchdowns, Trey Cross and Ryan Snodgrass, form one of the best running back tandems in the district. We have a bunch of stuff we, we worked on, a bunch of tools, a bunch of weapons, and we're just really excited with that we can use. Well, those guys need to be the leaders. They're, they're the ones that need to be able to set an expectation, and it's not only those skilled guys, those offensive linemen have been through it before, and so they understand uh, what, what's expected of them and what it's going to take to win another district championship. And the schedule for Greenwood hosting Big Spring before hitting the road to face the hostile herd from Hereford. And then the shallow water of the week after that, another game with the Rangers are going to be trying to get some revenge. Snyder, the second place finisher in that district last year. That game is going to be week nine uh, once again. The open week, you see it, you might not see it. It's not until the end of the regular season. They're going to play ten straight weeks before having a bye.